Yes. Uh, sinister. Sinister. <laughs> Very odd. He looks like Rhett Butler. Yes. <laughs> well, this bit. morning in makeup, he looked like a serial killer. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see him later. Anyway, episode one of In My Lady's Chamber, this morning's Christmas soap coming up very soon. Uh, an even higher standard of acting, too, from the children of St. Joseph's Primary from Linlithgow in Scotland as we start our live nativity plays. Susan's decorating the Christmas cake, and uh, Steve Watley's got some brilliant ideas for party games. So we'll see with all of that. And this. After the news. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Richard. Good morning. Searches have resumed for three men missing, feared dead in the worst floods to hit Scotland for more than a century. Torrential rain is finally clearing after more than four inches fell over the weekend. With hundreds evacuated from their waterlogged homes and scores of roads submerged and impassable, this is the worst flooding in living memory. Although the rain is now abating, the weekend's torrential downpour gave Glasgow its entire December ration in just two days. With schools closed, children play in the floodwaters as their parents mop up as best they can. Abandoned cars litter the street, while those still able to run risk crossing higher ground. The damage to homes is expected to run into millions of pounds. Dejected residents can do nothing but desert their belongings until the water level falls. Emergency teams are continuing their rescue operations this morning offering a ferry service to anyone left stranded. The breakaway Republic of Chechnya is holding last-ditch talks with Russia today to try to prevent all-out war. The rebel government was forced to the negotiating table after Russian tanks surrounded the Chechen capital of Grozny yesterday. Just a few groups of armed Chechen volunteers clustered around fires with their weapons. They told us that Russian troops are nearby and they expect an attack at any moment. In Grozny, several hundred armed men are still occupying the main square and anti-aircraft machine guns have been positioned nearby. Our hotel is packed with Chechen soldiers from General Dudayev's so-called suicide commando. Some of them appear to have been taking drugs. All say that they are ready to fight. Julian Mannion, ITN, Grozny. Here, the director of the prison service, Derek Lewis, this morning defended the £35,000 bonus he received from the government. Earlier this year, there were calls for Mr. Lewis's resignation following a series of security blunders, including an attempted breakout by IRA prisoners and the discovery of explosives in jails. But Mr. Lewis says the bonus, which is over a quarter of his salary, was for reducing the number of escapes in 1993. Hundreds of post offices have been hit by a strike in protest at what union leaders call backdoor privatisation. But managers say the vast majority of the country's 20,000 post offices will remain open despite the 24-hour walkout by counter staff. The delivery and collection of Christmas mail won't be affected by today's industrial action. A man was today committed for trial in Australia for the murder of seven backpackers, including two Britons. It took magistrates 27 days to decide that there was enough evidence to make road worker Ivan Millat stand trial. Millat, who says he's innocent, will appear before New South Wales Supreme Court in the new year. A policeman is fighting for his life in hospital after being attacked with a knife and beaten over the head with a blunt instrument. The off-duty officer was set upon after his car broke down at Hornchurch in Essex. Five people have been questioned about the attack, which is being treated as attempted murder. The winner of the £17.8 million national lottery jackpot is expected to remain a secret. The lottery organisers Camelot say Britain's newest multimillionaire will simply disappear into the night but several tabloid newspapers are offering rewards of up to £10,000 for the winner's name. The statue of the Three Graces goes on display today after campaign has raised £7.6 million to keep it in Britain. Canova's 19th century masterpiece depicting the three daughters of Jupiter is on show at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. In today's lunchtime news, more on that media clamour to identify the lottery jackpot winner. We'll be asking how do people cope with the shock of becoming an overnight millionaire? Plus the latest research on asthma, how young sufferers could benefit. All at 12.30. <laughs> Good morning. Police in Ballymena are still questioning several people about the murder of a 33-year-old man stabbed to death in the town early yesterday. The victim was Robert John Mitchell from Inchkeith Road in the Ballykeel estate. An ambulance crew called to Regent's Park in the Dari Road estate found the council binman seriously injured on a pavement. He died in hospital two hours later. 
In Londonderry, a man is due in court, charged with the possessing and intention to supply drugs. Ecstasy with a street value of over £18,000 was seized in a house in the Strand Road area. Yesterday, drugs worth nearly £15,000 were found by police during a raid on a Bangor High Street pub. No arrests were made. Talks between Labour, Fine Gael and the Democratic left continue in Dublin today in a bid to form a new government. But in a new controversy, Labour leader Dick Spring has denied allegations that he knew of the relevance of a similar extradition case to the Father Brendan Smith affair and of calls for the resignation of President of the High Court Harry Whelahan days before he was forced to leave office as the coalition government collapsed. The turmoil in Dublin and the impact, if any, on the peace process will be assessed at a meeting of Sinn Féin's ruling council today. The national executive will also receive a report from the delegation which met British government officials at Stormont on Friday, as well as consider its attitude to the International Investment Conference due to start in Belfast tomorrow. Sinn Féin claims it hasn't been invited on the same terms as other parties. Finally, four Belfast men from the Shankill area who have admitted beating a Catholic to death will be sentenced today. Last week, the four originally charged with murdering Kieran Abram two years ago changed their pleas to manslaughter. That's the news. The weather forecast is next. And now the UTV weather. Sponsored by The Progressive, your local building society. Temperatures will drop slightly this afternoon as brighter and fresher conditions with some sunny spells and a scattering of showers continue to edge southwards. Showery rain will again spread into the northwest overnight, bringing colder conditions with it. Cloudy wet weather also continuing over the southernmost areas. By dawn, the rain in the south will have become rather more widespread, heading back into central areas with some heavy bursts of rain expected. Temperatures will fall to around 3 Celsius. A big part of his life lost, but now he could lose it all. Come on, with me. I don't even believe I'm sorry. This was the one thing I got right. Murray and Donna. You're not going and Macaulay's not going. <coughs> it should have been my funeral. If I wanted to leave, you couldn't stop us. She's confused. She doesn't know what to do. You are not getting my son. Soldier, Soldier, Tuesday at 9 on UTV. It's always been tough being a kid in Hollywood when your parents are famous. Have you seen her for this video? <laughs> Actress of the do it. We have fights about the weight. Oh, yeah, thanks for bringing that up. They want a kid who's going to be perfect. They're going to play the piano. They're going to go to ballet school. They're going to go to acting school. Tennis lessons, I force you to take. Right. They want their kids to be a reflection of them. I hate this. Right. You curtsy, Desiree. A new series. It makes me sick. Tinsel or Tarnished, Hollywood Kids, Wednesday at 9 on UTV. Hi, welcome Hi. back. We're with you now till uh, 20 past 12. Coming up in just a minute, the first instalment of our nativity play. Today the children are from Scotland, where it's very wet. It was very wet yesterday, wasn't it, when you came up? 